how to deal with the ungodly, how to deal with sinners, and how to deal with scornful people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't believe some of the faces I am seeing. Amen. Amen. So what is the first method of dealing with? The teaching method. Amen. Amen. And what does the teaching method entail? Have you done my homework? How many of you have done the homework? So there are some of you who answered. Now what does it mean? You ate lunch without doing my homework. And you are laughing. <laughs> you don't know that you are witches and wizards. Yeah. Witches and man witches. <laughs> yeah. To obey is better than sacrifice. All right, what's the second method? The Nicolaitan. And what does that mean? Hate what they do. Hate it. We hate hip hop. We hate 50 Cent's music. I hate Britney Spears' music. Just as they hate our music, we also hate their music. We hate it. If they hate ours, we hate theirs. You don't like Jesus, we also don't like your Satan. That's it. We don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it, I also don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the way you touch me. Did we come to study or we came to touch? You said I should come and watch a movie in your house. But you are touching me. Yeah. I don't like the way I do. Everybody say I don't like it. I don't like it. Are you driving or you are you are doing massaging? Yeah. Number three, the north wind. Everybody, have you started learning your north wind? Let me see your north wind. Tell it the girl ladies. And when you are doing it, you should, you should, you should from head to toe. You see, as I'm preaching, some of you are saying, Oh, Reverend, you are saying, I don't like it, but I like it. Hey, hey, hey. Reverend, you say, I don't like it, but I like it. You like it. Then you can't be a disciple. Then you cannot be my disciple. You cannot be. You cannot be. Because the first purpose for being a disciple is to just to be around. Listen, if there's anywhere in the world that I learned this principle, it is in Lighthouse, this church. When you come to the church, one of the things that you will learn is just be around. Yeah. Listen, I, I've been a pastor for a while and I've experienced. I, have, I mean, anybody who leaves church immediately after, like this boy, stand up. At first, when he comes to church, when they, but may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, two meters, the love of God, three meters, and the fellowship God, away. Yeah. 
Listen. I haven't given him now, I haven't given him any special role or any special work. Or is it not? This is your is your cousin. Stand up. Is, is it not your cousin? Yeah. I've not given any this pray for two more hours. Or go on evangelism. Just his the, the switch was now he's around. You'll be surprised. It has changed his spiritual life from here to here. Yeah. I want to say it's a lie. What I say is it true? Have I given you a, a, a political portfolio in the church? I've appointed you something. You see, even as he stand, you see, when you see spiritual people, you see. You see as he stand, he's, he's swaying from. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Ken, I have not given any spiritual portfolio. Do you know portfolio? You know portfolio. Just, just be around. So in your church, look out for the people who cannot be around. They are devils. Devils. Ma- oh, sorry. Ma- woman, which is a man, which is not, it's not sandwich, it's man, which. Then I sit down. Woman, with that. You are too complicated. Nicolaitan. You must, everybody should have an angry face. If you are in the church and you smile too much, the evil people, you must have it. Let me see your angry face. And let me hear you chew. Everybody chew. I'm not joking. Oh, let me hear you chew. Hey, Bilala, you won't chew. Eh? You chewed. Stand up and chew for me. Stand up and chew for me. Thank you. you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Charlie, see me after church for money. This is your not win it. I have to. Uh, David, try me not win the picture, mommy. One. Try the picture one. To yet, 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 yet. Try the video. Try now, try the video. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Me now I feel. I feel. Number four is what? The Abrahamic method. Which is what? Separation. Go your way. I go my way. After this camp, after this camp, some of you have to separate. Yeah. No, it, you see, all these things there uh, is based on if you want to be my disciple. If you don't want to, then all these things will apply. But if you want to be a disciple, are you understanding the preaching? Yeah. Number five is what? Casting out. Where are my people? <laughs> Listen. How do you realize that it's getting hotter? Number one, I, I taught you. You didn't mind me. Number two, I dislike. You didn't mind me. Three, Nico, um, this thing, North Wind, you didn't mind me. Four, separation. You, no, you didn't fight all. You don't need to quarrel. All you need to call and say, listen, I realize that every time we meet, we fornicate. Every time. Without fail. 
when we meet, we eat. Do you know eat? <laughs> hey! <laughs> in the white church, in the white church, we have the teachers, same teachers actually. Every Sunday afternoon, we have a meeting. And we have a slogan. And our slogan is anytime we meet, we eat. Yeah. Some of you, you also have a slogan. <laughs> With certain brothers. Anytime we meet. You know it. The boy has been eating you. Hey. Hey. The boy has been eating you. But you came to the camp. And you realized that no. I want to be a disciple. I want to be a disciple. So listen. Listen, go your way. I'll go my way. Everybody, right hand first. Everybody do this. Go your way and let me go my way. Again. And let me go my way. That's all. If that one doesn't work, get up. Proverbs 22 verse 10. If that one doesn't work. Away. Cast the person out. You see. You, you see Bila last north wind. That one, there's no body contact. But after that one, when it's still not working, to sack him from your house. Yeah. So, you have to sack him. You have taught him. He didn't learn. You have hated. He didn't learn. North win. He didn't. Go your way and make her go my way. He's still coming back. Listen, I just saw in the realm of the spirit somebody who has a guy who comes to your house. And when he comes, this person can talk a lot. I just saw in the realm of the spirit. And he can talk and talk. But everything he says is just toilet. 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 
one day a young girl came to my office in fact there are fewer young ladies who have told me as much as this particular young lady told me somebody who when I was counseling her I was crying do you understand me usually when I'm doing counseling they cry <laughs> but this particular one sit down, be learning learn, be learning <laughs> no, I need a girl be learning what are you doing? I'm learning. You are learning are you busy? yes ok, please, can I see for one minute? ok, come and you come come please I don't tell I don't, I don't even watch Nigerian movies so what I'm saying is not a Nigerian movie it's someone I'm sorry for disturbing your land you see this is my friend yes. he wants to have sex with you wait 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 don't, don't let your penis come down no. it's just a demonstration it's a play Everybody say it's a play. Yeah, sit down, sit down. This, my friend. Listen. He wants to have sex with you. No, my friend wants to have sex with you. Is it okay? The, oh, no. Uh, we're acting a play. Then she says, okay. Then, it was next school. Then she, she climbs upstairs with him. Takes off her underwear on the table that part of the play we cannot do it here <laughs> then they finish then they come downstairs and then she continues learning continue learning it's a devil as we were oh, sit down, as we were talking his phone kept on ringing who is this? Who is calling you? It's, I'll just use a name. It's Bernardo. Who is Bernardo? Oh, you remember the story that I told you about my... He, ne, Bernardo was the negotiator. Did you understand the message? I said, why is Bernardo still calling you? Because she had been in church for about a month. So why are you still calling? He said, I don't know. He said, Reverend, go help me. I said, I, the only help I can give you is to pick the phone and tell him, do not call me again. Erase his number from your phone. Then she said, oh, I can't. I can't. I said, you can. Do it. So she called him and said, no, 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 no. she even gave me the phone and I called him and I blasted him. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I finished blasting. I blasted him. And the next day, I said, I didn't see you. Where were you? Oh, Bernardo came to pick me from home. <laughs> this is the lady here. Uh, this is the, me, I don't preach about things that are not real. The way people are bad, I cannot be using Genesis and Exodus to preach. The Bible says in Genesis that you know, and I will be singing like a bird. <laughs> Listen. So, I realized that the reason why she is not in this camp is because she couldn't cast out the scorner. Do you really think Bernardo loves her? If there is a definition for the word use, then this is it. Yeah. If there is a definition of the word somebody is using me, 
is and somebody who is using you is somebody who is scorning you. Do you understand scorn? To scorn means to laugh, to make fun of you, to mock you, to make you cheap and useless. <laughs> Listen, I I pray for strength and grace for somebody here to cast out cast out in Jesus name method number six you see, I'm sweating. It's getting hotter. Yeah. Romans 16, verse 17. We'll be having dinner soon. So I just wanted to, I wanted to finish this one up and then we'll have dinner. Listen. What does it say? says now listen let me read let me read says now i beg you mark mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learnt and avoid them now listen what does it mean to mark? So this is called the method of mark and avoid. Mark and avoid. What does it mean to mark and avoid? What it means to mark and avoid is to name the evildoer in public. Public introduction of, of the evil doer of the evil doer public introduction I have taught you didn't change I have disliked you didn't listen to me I use not wind now when I use all these terms you understand don't you understand I use not wind you didn't mind me Go your way, let me go my way. You didn't mind me. I tried to cast you out. You came back. So now, I have to come. I said, stand, climb the stage. You see this boy, not him, but you see this boy. His pistol is sharp. His pistol. You see this boy? His mouth is filthy. His well. I have to bring the person now into the public domain. Publicly. Publicly. If you want us to come to this point, me, Reverend Oko, me, Reverend Oko, by the grace of God. It's not difficult for me at all. Recently, I had a crisis in my church. What was the crisis? The crisis was that as me, I'm standing behind the pulpit, preaching, preaching, serve the Lord. Preach. If I had actually started a, a series on backsliding, and the and I was causes of backsliding, and the first cause was bad friends, and I had gone to. Then when I finished preaching. Then I had a church member who is also doing after uh, uh, extra classes. Yeah. As I finish with them, this person will go in the congregation and start recruiting people for nightclub. Yeah. Nightclub. She was doing deep sea fishing. So I got 
got a telephone call one night that hey one of your members was in a nightclub something so I said hey it's a crisis it's a crisis so I started making phone calls all my nightclub suspects I started calling all of them because usually they go in groups okay hey, where were you between the hours of 11 and this tonight this? so oh I was at home okay this and I started, and then we we unraveled the whole mystery. Unraveled the whole mystery. I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. Then I decided that if I don't see a change, me, I want to call that person. And put the person on stage. Me, I've done it before. There's a guy in church. He he was a class one con man. Do you know con man? Yeah, four one nine. You come to church with some medical this and be, all kinds of things. And then one day, I Bishop Saki and myself we organized him. He, he thought that we were coming to introduce him as the latest ministry shepherd. So, oh, please, uh, we would like you. So we called him on stage. He was smiling, we were clapping, and he said, This boy, have you seen? Oh, Father, everything, every example I'm using him for, may it not stick in the name of Jesus. Okay, you go away. Bring the guitar. I'll use the guitar. No, I'll not use the guitar. Use your imagination. So I said, This man here, if he comes to beg you for money, don't mind him. He's a liar. In front of the whole church, they said, you, you can take your seat. He was like this. <laughs> then another time, there was another young boy. He, he was a master thief. Master thief. Master thief. I mean... So I remember me, one of the treatments I use for thieves is I cast you out by physical means. Yeah. Slaps. Belts. This boy said he wouldn't change. So what did I do? Myself, once again, myself and Bishop Saki. So he said, oh, he has changed now. So he used to come to church. You wear coat. I first used to wear ordinary clothes, but after he changed, started wearing coats. So you come and sit in the front row. One of the preachers said, Amen. Amen. Then around praise and worship, he'll vanish. Then we found him opening people's cars and stealing CDs. So we beat him. I don't know. It's the devil that tempted me. It's the devil. He said, Don't worry, baby, don't worry. About sin. Don't worry. Don't worry. The devil tempted. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. So, in the middle of the service, we had finished everything. He was there in his coat. So, oh, uh, ladies, I want to introduce this very special brother to the church. John, can you please come? So, he came. In his coat. Bishop Zaki said, we would like to inform the whole church that this man here is a thief. Yeah. He's a thief. He can break into your car. If he comes around you, your bag will vanish. You just want, if you have not seen, because usually we don't see, we don't see thieves, what they look like. But by the grace of God, we want to introduce to you a thief. So, this is Mr. Thief. Okay. Put your hands together. Thank you. You may take your seat. Do you think you'll come to church again? Yeah. Never. Two years ago, I had a, I had, you see, I had a combination of a, a wizard 
a man which and no a man which and a devil in the church and the painful thing is that he was one of my best church members yeah. church I used to travel with him in those days if it had been if it had been now he would be the one leading the prayer time if I'm not here I can even say look take the microphone and yeah then he went to school when he went to school he went to meet a wizard and the wizard twisted his mind and not knowing that as I was preaching in the church he was also preaching his own doctrine and recruiting he was, he was doing IPTP training witches and wizards in my church at a point I realized that if I want to get rid of him it will not just be casting him out this, I have to publicly say through the microphone that this particular brother is a wizard don't follow him and the painful thing is that some people even though I told them they didn't believe me hey is Ima here? Ima isn't here. My, do you know Ima? The one who used to, is now in Alos. I, at a point I realized that when he's leading praise and worship, he is so confused. So I called him and said, what's the problem? Not knowing he had been in contact with this wizard. And he was telling me that, he told me everything the guy told him, that oh, he'll song their devils, and that this, that he should not let allow me to lead him but that he can be led by God but they that are led by the spirit they are the sons not they that are led by pastors yeah. so he was t- and anytime in my, eh, when I first hit, then I realized that the guy he, uh, yeah, he was an ungodly sinner and scorning he, had, he, he was a combination of the three. He was God classic combination. Right now, right now, right now, he's in town. He has become fat. His hair is, he looks like a madman. This person used to be my child. He looks like a madman. I mean, I, if he says, if he, he, because he can, some of you will go and tell him. Some of you here, you will go and tell him that. I say he looks like a madman. And I said, no problem, go and tell him. If he doesn't look like a madman, he should come. And when we all see him, we will decide whether he uh, what he looks like. Yeah. Joshua, did you not see him recently? What did he look like? A madman. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. No. Uh. If I mention his name, you don't know him. That's not. But so those who know him, they told me, this boy. So you should learn, young boys and young girls. How to mention names that this girl that you and, and I've come to that point with certain people, and I'm seeing it at this camp because I haven't done it yet. I have a fresh batch of mark and avoid graduates. Are you understanding my message? If you have not seen my madness before, you see it. I have a fresh group of mark and avoid. It's like every year I, I graduate a group. Every year I graduated. It's like every year they come to the meeting. Jesus Christ said, have I not chosen 12 of you? And one of you said, devil. It's a devil. It's a devil. It's a devil. It's a devil. Yeah. So if even Jesus chose and the devil was there, then me there. Mm. So, I have a, I'm saying because they are here. Fresh batch. And maybe in your churches you also have these devils. Uh, so, Brother Ken, I beg you, if you use teaching, they don't change. Nicolaitan, it doesn't change. change. Not win, it doesn't change. Abraham, separation. I told you see this brother at a point I told him, listen, Lighthouse Chapel is not the only church in the world. And I'm not the only pastor. When I'm preaching, then you'll be sitting in the congregation laughing at my preaching. When <laughs> 
analyzing my picture, and then I'll see him whispering to the person there. So I called him and said, Listen, no, I'm not the only pastor. Go. He didn't go. He didn't go. It was until I started marking and I put paint on him. This man is a wizard. He's a wizard. He's a wizard. Then he vanished. Yeah. If that is what you want me to do, I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to God and the gospel. I promise to hold in high esteem all the tenets that are in the Bible. I promise that me, I will introduce you. I will, I will have a special mark. And mark, if you hear that tomorrow is Mark 16, 17 Sunday. If that's what you want me to do. You'll be surprised that loving pastor, Reverend Ogo, Fuji Fuji. Hare. 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 Fuji Fuji. Hare. Hold on. Hare. Hare. Boom. If you think that the only thing Reverend Ogo knows how to do is honey, Fuji Fuji. If you think the only thing Reverend no God knows how to do is I said I have a fresh batch I'm looking at often fresh I'll call you I'll line you up like this I'll say this one He said Master Do you know Sniper? <laughs> sniper And then this one is a bombardier. Do you know bombardier? Young people, if you have energy for sex, energy, listen, listen. How many of you, when you wake up in the morning, you have erection? Let me see your hand. Erection. The boys, the girls, close your eyes. The girls, close your eyes. Any girl who opens your Okay, now boys, feel free. Hey, are you open your finger? Hey. Nonsense. No, I'll mark and avoid you. Eh? Listen. Just put your hands down. There is no shame. Look, it's a very good thing. Oh. Listen. If you are a young boy and you wake up, oh, ladies, close your ears also. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. Ears and eyes. Open your eyes. If you have, you wake up in the morning and you have erection and it's very hard like cement block. <laughs> it, it means, listen, it means something. It means that you are strong. Very strong. The strongest so far. Strong. Listen. Listen. The problem is not their erection. The promise that the problem is when you let your erection determine your direction. Do you know what a sign is? Yeah. Sometimes you do, you see, sometimes when you do something, it's just a sign that you are able to do something. It doesn't mean you should do that thing. And it is a sign for you to see that, look, I am youthful and I am strong and God wants my strength. No, it's true. Put your hands here. It's a sign. It means I am still strong. 
I can, I can mute for. I can preach. I can sit down for a long time reading my Bible. I can soak, soak in messages. That is what it means. But when you are now like ladies, when people say you are beautiful, you are beautiful, you are beautiful, hey, glorify God. The fact that your breasts are firm. Listen. listen. And, and people come around you. Is, is God at work in you? Both to will and to do according to his good plan. Because there are some, excuse me, to God, God forgive me. But there are some ladies, they are so ugly that a man will never talk to them. Yes. Yes. Hey. But you, you are beautiful. Every time you are passing, people are doing, listen. Listen. When people stop you, to ask your name. Smile. And tell them that the source of my joy is Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't understand the preaching. Then you ask them, do you know Jesus? Are you born again? Some of you have friends. They come out, not friends, but people in your around you come around because they, they find you as a nice person. Instead of becoming thinking like the world, that oh, once he has told me I am beautiful, then I should expose. You tell them, oh, what you are seeing is only the breast with clothes on top. Should I remove the clothes so that I see the real? You see, you are not able to shout anymore. Why? Why should it be that God's greatest mistake, young ladies, was to make you a beautiful girl? Because what do you have that you did not receive? I thank God you are beautiful. You have everything in place. 50, 16, 75. It's not every lady who has big breast oh. Some of them, their breast is not big. But your big breast seems to be bringing people around you. <laughs> Lady Basarika, they think that I'm talking more. Otherwise, otherwise at a point where you misuse what God has given to you, and you have become ungodly. <laughs> Lady Pasarika, stop what you are doing. Oh. <laughs> Mark. Everybody say Mark and avoid. Do you know do you know understand Mark and avoid? Yeah. Yeah. If you are a man. And you like men. And oh, shut up! Oh, please, all the scorners who come and sit down. I forgot about it. Clap for them! Clap for them! <laughs> hey, who are you? Let me mark and avoid him. You see this boy here? I'm joking. (laughs) 
M and A. Yeah. Do you understand man can avoid? God will bless you. God will bless you. Mention their names. Tell a friend. This boy. He's dangerous. There are certain websites that you need to mark and avoid. It's not only human beings. Some of you. If we don't tell you. You, that's why when I'm preaching I mention names that's why I mention Oprah Winfrey Oprah Winfrey I'm not joking about, I'll tell you Oprah Winfrey is not ad- you are surprised I'm mentioning her name you know? she's looking at me like, yeah. Oprah Winfrey you see she has a greater following than most men of God and she's using her following to advance the cause of Satan she tells people that Jesus is not the only way. Yeah. And because people have faith and trust and belief in her, because she does a lot of good. She has opened an orphanage in um, South Africa, a school for children, uh, small girls. She says, make your dream come true. She always is doing nice things. So she has people who really love her. And I also used to watch and watch all the goodness. Then one day I heard her saying that Jesus is not the only way. Jesus is, there are many ways to heaven. I said, you, you, you. Everybody do mark. And avoid. So I've stopped watching, I've, I've stopped. If I see Oprah Winfrey on TV, I switch it off. I don't care what she's talking about. She can be talking about the orphans in Nicaragua. and family. I don't leave, and I tell my church members. I tell my, you see this the new the Barack Obama, since he came, he's legalized abortion, open abortion clinics, doing all kinds of things. I say Barack Obama, cry. He is not the savior of America at all. Mark, and they say, oh, it's because you are a Republican. You are a fully. How can I be a Republican? I live in Ghana. Should mark and avoid certain things. Hey, there's a TV program. I saw only the advert. Me, if I see your, even your advert, it's called Soul Sisters. And twice, skip quiet, I'm the one preaching. Not you. In the advert, twice, Anita, do you, do you know what I saw? Come, let me tell you what I saw. Come, let me tell you what I saw. In the advert, eh, a girl was trying to kiss a girl. Eh, and then the other girl was like, she didn't like it. Then at the end of the advert, the very last scene in the advert, the girl was now kissing the girl. Then me, I don't know. In Ghana today, in Ghana today, they are using, under the pretext of drama and entertainment, they are sowing seeds of homosexuality. And I should, I, should, I should come and say, watch Soul Sisters. It is creative. It will improve your English. F- f- foolish boys and girls. No, 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 no. If, if I, one of my crusades now, one of my crusades now, is to look for anything that looks mysterious. If you like, sh- do anything that looks ungodly. Pray that I don't see it. If I see it, it will come in my preaching. I've shown you the latest one. It's a TV program called Soul Sisters. The sisters, they spell it with A S I S T A S. Soul Sisters. And you see about four girls like this. Yeah. I'll be surprised if the producer herself is a lesbian. Yeah. It's a spirit. Well, I will tell you, mark it. And don't go near it. That is, it's a condition. If you want to be a disciple. If you don't want to be a disciple, don't worry. We'll be getting phone calls from you from hell. You'll be calling us long distance. We should send you water. We'll send you petrol. Petrol. 
the, so that the fire burns you. And listen, it shouldn't be only me. I'm not the only believer in Ghana. I'm not the only disciple of Jesus Christ. I'm not the only one who has a voice. That is why I brought you to camp. To tell you. To begin to think. Because the church is dying. We've compromised everything. Everything that Jesus. The church has changed. We have compromised. Compromised everything. We have changed. We have converted music from a a ministry to an industry. Gospel music. That used to be a ministry. That when you take your guitar and you play. You play. You play. In his time. And people clap. And they say God bless you. You yourself. You know that you don't even. Even the God bless you. You don't deserve it. Because you are a filthy rag. That God has picked up and is using. And when they are saying God bless you. You say stop. Don't even say it. And you are crying. Now. They tell you that listen. Before I come. Cash down. Look, the other day I had a, 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 a debate on TV. I said, these people are, they are devils. They are devils. Sweet. Now, the gospel musicians wanted to come out with something. They wanted to come out with something they called the minimum wage. Do you know minimum wage? Minimum wage is that we are agreeing, and it should be made a law, that you cannot invite a gospel musician into your church if you don't have this minimum amount of money. You haven't met a madman yet. You didn't meet Reverend Oko. That is why. You are a fool. You haven't understood. Can you die on a cross? That person who is saying, I need a minimum wage. Can you die on a cross? Can you lie on a cross? Can you have nails? You, can you? Oh man, stop what you are doing, you know. Because me, when I, that's why, listen. Me, when I start to go into the cross, something happens to me. Can you leave heaven? To earth. Cross your legs together. They'll take a nail. They'll put the nail on one through another. You said you want what? Ah, my God. Ah, 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 ah. You want what? You want what? You say what? It's not a ministry. It's an industry. If I sing, I should be paid. Then it is okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Please don't cry. The whole atmosphere will change. It's supper time. It's not just me. Anybody listening to me. That is why I told you at the beginning of this camp. Now this is a prophetic gathering that let the whole world turn their backs on Jesus. Not us. You didn't hear what I said? Let the whole world turn their backs. Let them change the church into some money making something. No. No. You go to church, they don't even talk about heaven anymore. What are you doing? So we want it now. You are funny. You look funny to God. You look funny. You want it now. As if God is some somebody who has to take a loan before he provides your needs. As if God has to go and beg somebody before he can pay for your needs. You, don't you see how funny it is when your, your children, you have, you have money on you 
Daddy, Daddy, you don't want to. My daughter, I don't know who taught it, but she, Daddy, you don't want to give. She doesn't ask her. You don't want to give me toffee. You know, I, I don't want to give you toffee. So now I should prove to you that I want to give you toffee. That is how a lot of us to God in our hearts, even before we love Him, praise Him, worship Him, and we have already told Him what He cannot do. Yeah. We've told God what He cannot do. The other day I, 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 I traveled and I called my, oh, Anita, sit down. Anita, please don't kiss another girl. Okay. It's called lesbianism. Say we should accept them. We can't, we cannot. Listen. We love them. They are human. And our prayer for them is the day that they will, they will, that sinners will be converted. And I will teach. I know people who have been have you not read Kwesi's testimony on a, on, a save, on a save website? Who as a young person was abused by another man. And as he was growing up, he didn't know whether he was a man or a woman and was sleeping with men. A young boy is how my 70 years I was with him for four weeks in the USA. If there's one person in the world that I would travel with anywhere, it's him. You cannot say because somebody has slept with you, you are a homosexual. How? How God has delivered him and changed him and transformed his life that today he stands. You see, everybody has some element of something. I tell you. Listen, if I want to start behaving like a woman today, I can. No, I just, just hold my hand up. You know, Walk a bit and you know, hold my hand up. And it becomes part anything you do for a long time becomes part of you. Where's my handkerchief? My towel. No, it's in my pocket. Then I do this. <laughs> if I can do this for four months. <laughs> Jesus wants, no. We can't. If God has, I was telling, sweetheart, I was telling the people in America that I, you see, what I am saying in today's world sounds like madness. And the Holy, Holy Ghost dropped something in my spirit. He said, listen, don't worry. Preach like a madman. In America, madmen have rights. Yeah. As a mad, you know, in America, if you kill somebody and you can prove that even for the two minutes that you were, you turned mad and you became normal again, they will not imprison you. I said, Oh, then my madness is going to come more. Are you here? Are you listening to me? I said, there is, it shouldn't be only me. From now on, I should hear 600 other voices. I should hear young people saying the things I am saying and confessing the things I'm confessing. How can it be that Reverend Oko is the only one? Or Bishop Daki O'Neill is the only one holding crusades in villages? How can it be? Like I told you, I thought I would preach for 15 minutes. I'm preaching, thank you. But I'll close soon. How can it be? When there are souls dying, and Islam is coming from Burkina Faso and has begun to eat, eat into the country, and then we are here deciding minimum wage for gospel musicians. You are you are you don't you don't want to hear what I want to say about you. The last method of getting rid of and that's very sad. The last method of getting rid 
of ungodly. Some of you just came in, so you don't understand the message. It doesn't matter. Buy the CD. But you understand. I, I'm talking about three types of people that you should, who should not be around you. If you want to be God's disciple, there are three, three groups of people who should not be around you. Bibi, are you understanding me? They should not be in your life. I don't care whether they also went to Wesley Girls. I do not care. Wesley Girls does not... That, going to Wesley Girls does not give you permission to enter heaven. Being an old boy of Achimota School means even between here and Cote d'Ivoire, they don't know Achimota School. You know Cote d'Ivoire. If you cross a Lubo border, you say, I went to Achimota. They say, eh? Just here and here. They don't know Achimota School. How much more here in heaven? That you have made, oh, but Reverend, we were in the same class in Achimota School. And so what? And so what? So you have surrounded yourself. <sighs> Last method. Galatians 1.8 It's getting hotter. Somebody says it's getting hotter. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord. I love you, Jesus. Lord, with my last breath. Tebado we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed it's called the cursing method yeah and such curses you don't curse that oh Kofi Puni I've cursed you Janet Kwame, I've cursed you. No, if you do that, people will beat you up. You have to curse a general curse. You curse it in the air. You curse in the air. Yeah. No, it's the last resort. And I hope that I won't have to get there. Many times I have been tempted to Curse. I've cursed before. I've cursed that anybody who tries to take any of my sheep away. But in this camp, I've cursed certain people. Say so in this camp, anybody who kisses another, you have planned that, oh, we've come. We are so many. They cannot be what these pastors now, they are dull. I know some corners here. Then you send the person a text. Meet me behind the golf course. Oh, one. Meet me on the whole one fairway. <laughs> you have sent a girl. As we are here, we have sent a girl a text. May half of your body. May half of your body. Listen. Listen to the case. May half of your body begin to rot. If you preach any gospel that is different from Jesus Christ on the cross, he died for my sins. Now, people don't even believe they are sinners. Do you know why? We've stopped reminding them. Yeah. We've stopped. We are afraid to tell church members that they are sinners. And do you know what they do? They they, they try to make themselves look good. Say, you did this and this. No, but I did it only once. I didn't do it twice. I, I said, listen. Even before you kiss the girl, the thought was already filthy. Yeah. So you said, oh, I didn't. Jesus, he didn't use action. No. He used thought. That you looked on the woman to last for at the end. You have removed your panties already. 
Your pistol is shooting. Po, po. So what I am saying is that <laughs> we are sinners already. Reverend Oko Chief, what is it that you can tell me that will make me offended? Pastor Ben is my friend. Recently I was confessing my sins to him. I said, Pastor Ben, hey, I'm a bad man. I'm very bad. I did that. As I'm talking, I'm wondering, what has Reverend Ogo done this time? I won't tell you because you can't handle it. Hey, I can't handle it. Hey, that is a very serious thing. No? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Are you being blessed by my preaching? Yeah. Uh, don't worry. So I said, Pastor Ben, that's me. I'm sorry. People don't even accept their sin anymore. We defend our filth. You have wee-weed in bed. When I come to your room, I say, hmm, your room is smelling. He said, this is not smell. It's lavender. I said, it's not lavender. It's wee-wee. He said, no. Then I put my hand on the bed sheet. It's wet. He says, it's not wet. It's moist. I said, it's not moist. It's wet. It's, 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 it's wee-wee. He said, what are you doing? He says, no, it's not wee-wee. It's sweat. I said, it's wee-wee. It's sweat. It's wee-wee. It's sweat. It's wee-wee. It's sweat. What can I do? We now have to take the bed sheet and squeeze it and test it for wee-wee DNA. DNA. Urine DNA, urine sample. Then we went test the DNA to see whether the DNA matches with your DNA. Well, what are you doing? You will weed in bed. Yes, I will weed in bed. I'm sorry. I'll try. My son, he will weed. Me, I will weed till from three. You know, from three. You are laughing at me. GSS3. No, SS3. Oh. JSS3. I wake up. I mean, I don't dream. Say, oh, I was dreaming that I was dreaming. And you are lying. You didn't dream. You will wait. I just will wait and be free. Me, I didn't dream. I'll be there when I wake up. Even before I wake up, I know that I will wait. So as I'm waking up, I'm taking the bed sheet with me. I'm going. Look at house. Look at house. I was in um, C Dom. I will wait till they sack me from the dome. I will wait till they sack me from the dome. He said, You cannot sleep here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what is it that you can say about me? I'm saying it myself. I will, they will, wait till I was sleeping under. You see, they have this big, I don't know whether it's still there, but it was a big table that we used to eye on. Is it still there? Yeah. Eh. I'll go and take a picture of my, my bedroom. I used to sleep. I put my mattress under the table and I'll sleep there. In the morning, I don't even have to ask anybody. When I wake up, I just take them. There's wee wee inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know how I stopped wee wee? Do you want to know? Because yes. I remember I had a cousin, very big cousin, Stabole. She used to threaten me. Say, yeah, if you will, we again, we'll tie a frog around your waist. A frog. And then my cousin, she can do it. <laughs> my big cousin, Stabole. You got it. You know when you hear the name of that body, you just the body. <laughs> hey. She said, if you will we again me, I'll personally catch a frog. And I'll tie it around the waist. So that when other women get the frog, you do bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many of you will mark and avoid? Mark. Joshua, you will mark and avoid. How many of you will mark and avoid? When you see evil, you teach it. It doesn't go away. 
Nicolaitan, it doesn't go away. Abrahamic, I've left one. North wind, it doesn't go. Abrahamic, it doesn't go. Casting out, it doesn't go. Mark and avoid, it doesn't go. Your last, everybody say, my last resort. I say, from today, my church members who attend club, may they have an accident. Why? Because I want to kill them? No. Because maybe the only thing that will bring them to God is an accident. Like my friend Bufus. What didn't I preach? Till he, till just down here at the clubhouse, he was riding his motorcycle and there was a speed ramp and he didn't see. Then he hit the speed ramp, then the back of the motor went up like this. Then he f- went to the sky and fell down. Then his stomach split open and his intestines came out. Yeah. So as he's walking there, they've cut part of intestine. They, it was they had to cut and then join. You know, cut and paste. Intestinal cut and paste. As he was lying in the hospital bed with tubes in his nose. In one place, could not move. His mother came to me and said, Oko, your brother. I felt, because I had finished, I was now a pastor, and I know his mother. His mother was a Sunday school teacher. Loves the Lord. I went with two books. They went to hell. And the other seven great principles of I went and gave him these books. I said, Bufus, please, you can't continue living like this. I, remember I prayed with him and I left. Some months, no, I think a year or so later. I've been praying for him for years. I loved him. Ever since we left Achimoto School, I prayed for him and prayed. The more I prayed, the more trouble he got into. I pray the more I when if I I think sometimes when I begin to pray as I pray then the trouble begins. I was going to UK, was deported. This oh when they are standing on stage. You know, like after service, how people come on stage and and then I felt a tap on my back. When I turned round, here was Bufus. I said, ah, I almost fainted. I, I'm not like. I said, ah. Then he started laughing. He said, I know you are surprised. I said, What are you doing here? I started laughing. Because those kind of people, when you see them in church, they are coming to chase girls. No, he said, No, no, no. I'm not here to chase girls. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm born again. I mean, they are better brands. Immediately, I called his pastor. Pastor Jonathan, I just met. This he says he's in your church. He said, oh, yes. He's a stable church member. He's, he told me the meaning. He even at a point, he was even in charge of J Church. But now he's moved to another ministry. What am I saying, young people? I'm saying that there, we are not doing these things because we hate them. We are doing these things because maybe that's the only way that they will see that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In the life, 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 